Hi everyone, Dion here. Now, the reason that I've got eggs in front of me is because today I'm talking to you about breakfast and the importance of starting your day with a really healthy, well-balanced breakfast so that your energy, mood and hunger levels are stable throughout the day. Now, I use eggs in pretty much every breakfast recipe that I make, whether it's savoury or sweet, things like a smoothie, I'll throw in some egg yolks, um, whether I'm just having eggs on toast or making something like pancakes. Maybe the only thing that doesn't have eggs is a chia pudding. I'm not sure how that would go. Now, the problem with breakfast in our Western society is that, is that um, very often it's too high in carbohydrates and sugar. The problem with that high carbohydrate, high sugar breakfast is that you get this blood sugar and insulin spike, which actually leaves you feeling more hungry, with more sugar cravings and more irritable within a few hours time. So the key to having a breakfast that will keep you feeling sustained keep your energy and mood stable throughout the day is to increase your protein and fat intake around breakfast time. If you're only going to change one meal a day, I would encourage you to make it breakfast because that really sets you up for your entire day. And when your blood sugar starts off stable, you will actually notice a reduction in your anxiety, in your sugar cravings and in your hunger throughout the entire day. Now, did you know that a lot of people suffering from anxiety are actually only suffering from blood sugar irregularities? With your blood sugar and insulin going up and down, it actually makes you feel really anxious. So one way to reduce your anxiety levels is to start your day with a breakfast that's higher in protein and higher in fat as well. So my favorite breakfasts at the moment, I've been alternating between two breakfasts, which are just having some eggs with cooked in either coconut oil or ghee with some spinach and avocado on some gluten-free toast, or I've been having a smoothie, which is actually quite packed full of fat which is actually a change for me. And I have really noticed the difference in my sugar cravings. I've been having a lot less sugar cravings, which is something that I've had struggled with my entire life. And my mood and anxiety has actually been reduced a lot as well. So what I do for my smoothie is I'll put in a few egg yolks, which are really high in all your fat soluble vitamins that are so important. I'm adding coconut oil, I'm adding ghee, I'm adding almond butter as well. And all of these things just help to keep me feel feeling fuller for a lot longer and reducing my sugar cravings, reducing my anxiety, and I've really noticed the difference in my energy levels as well. So I would really encourage you to change your breakfast if your breakfast is not one that's high in fat and high in protein, or if you're someone that suffers from things like anxiety, um, having eggs for breakfast. If you're having something like porridge, making sure to add in some coconut oil and some nuts for protein, eggs, just eggs on toast, are all, is always a really good breakfast alternative. So if you're only going to change one meal a day, I would really encourage it to be your breakfast, making sure that you're increasing the protein and fat content of that meal. And using something like eggs is a really good way to increase both the protein and fat of your breakfast and keep you feeling fuller for longer. So if you have any comments or any other breakfast suggestions and recipes that you'd love to share, please comment below. I'm always really interested to hear from you. That's all from me today. Bye.